My dear viewers, a common reproach that I hear is that so-and-so built a deck during the weekend. Why don't I do that? Or, so-and-so climbed on this roof, ripped off the old shingles, laid down tar paper, and then laid down new shingles. Why don't I do that? My teens and twenties were destroyed by my late father forcing me to help him with his botched home improvement projects. In 1990, a lot of my high school classmates went on a school trip to Mexico during a one-week spring break. I accept that we did not have the money for me to go. However, my late father forced me to instead spend my spring break by helping him put a styrofoam tile drop ceiling in the kitchen. It is true a part of the ceiling was damaged from a small flood in the bathroom above. However, we could have only put up a styrofoam drop ceiling in that damaged area and put a border around it to make it match up with the original ceiling. However, my father needlessly wanted to do the whole kitchen ceiling. I choked and wheezed as we ripped down the old ceiling down to the wooden studs and filled dozens or hundreds of garbage bags with the rubble. My father did not know what he was doing, so this project went on forever and ever and ever and ever. A few years later, around 1992, we had a minor hurricane in Connecticut in the early 1990s. A few roof shingles did curl up a little bit. However, there was no leak. There was no emergency. My late father forced me to get up on the roof with him, rip off the old shingles, lay down new plywood, lay down tar paper, and lay down new shingles. Now, there is an occupational category known as carpenters. If you pay them money, they will work for you. My father decided to do it himself, dragging me into this stupid fucking project. I was a history major in college. I was an intellectual. I do not do construction. Instead of my father being grateful for my help and saying, thank you for your service, he called me an asshole because I could not help him lay down a piece of plywood in the right place. By the way, we never had a ceiling leak in the kitchen from 1982 to 1992. However, after my father decided to do his own roof, we had a roof leak if the wind blew the rain in a certain direction. It was not resolved when we moved away in 2004. If you want me to donate $20 to your cause, to help save the whales, I will give you $20. If you want me to give you some of my empty soda bottles to help a felon get his case re-examined by the state Supreme Court, I will give you my soda bottles. However, do not ask me to do a home improvement project. I wasted my teens and 20s. I am not wasting my 50s. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.